Hello, Mara. My mother gave me your number. She said um, she said not to use her name, but to call you and say she got it okay. I'm sorry. She's very paranoid. I am the person who's running your campaign as today. I wanted to let you know that I'm here, I'm in the space. Um, and when you get up here to the third floor, you're going to want to go all the way around the corner. It'll be your one, two, the third, the third door on your right hand side. If you feel like you're going to get lost, you can also just give me a call. I'm happy to come down and get you. Um, I am really looking forward to meeting you today. Thanks, and I will see you soon. Okay. I, at first I thought you were a bot. <laughs> How? No. What's? Why does your profile look the way that it does? I uh, made it just to reach you. After I got rid of my phone, it was very hard to find people. <laughs> well, at least they can't find you either. So plus and a minus. <laughs> Though maybe not healthy. Sorry. Sorry, um never mind. But while I'm at it, I'm I'm sorry in general. You were upset, I imagine. I didn't hear from you, so. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> Sorry. It's really good to see you again, though. So you're the one hanging out in shady places now? <laughs> no, this place is great. It's perfect for filming in. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth Hodgins, that candidate I told you about, her team put me in charge of my campaign ad. It'll go out on YouTube and the local cable access channel. That's pretty cool. What's the ad about? Well, I talked to the campaign person about some ideas that they like for it and go over it with the filmmakers. Hey, if you stay long enough, maybe you can meet Elizabeth. She's great. I mean, I think. I'm meeting her today, too. That's great. You were always trying to get me to meet new people. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Why was that? Why? Yeah. Who are you, Mara? Why don't I feel like I ever got to know you? <laughs> I don't know who I am. I, I don't know who I am outside of contextual circumstances. There was no self out of context, so there was really no one to What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. What are you doing now? Looking for more nothing to do. <laughs> I don't know. For me, at least, it's a lot easier when I have something to do. Does that happen for you? Like, if you just have something to work on, you can just think more clearly? I 
I was a mess. I thought you were a mess too, weren't you a mess? I still need context. I don't have an answer for you, Charlie. There is no answer for you, Charlie. I, I, I guess you want to know what my plan was, or what my problem was, or if I had a plan. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. How can I answer that? I was curious as you. Weren't you curious? I'm curious about what? What were you doing there? Why were you there? Same, I thought. Same as you. Same, same, same. <laughs> Did you always plan on asking me to help you? I was lonely, I guess. Hello? Yeah, uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, Joe Vargo, this is Charlie. I'm gonna go grab Scott Hi. Are you a friend of ours or just part of the campaign? I'm a friend. Helping out? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Uh, Scott and Violet. Dylan, Joe Vargo, and Charlie. Everyone can finally meet. Charlie is a friend. I'm gonna go get the tripod. I brought gels. You weren't sure if you needed them? Or... Yeah, yeah? Good. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get them. What time are we starting? Um, I'm not sure. Elizabeth should be showing up in an hour, so. Uh, so, there you go. Is it what? It's alright. Uh, it's kind of dark in here. Oh. <sighs> Uh, so, ideas? She's gotta look good. Can we shoot here? Maybe we go set up a bit? Oh, I don't know, I've got a necessarily good message. What's her room? What's her message? She's a very of the people for the people platform. Uh, she's in favor of a universal basic income. She's a real progressive pushing for actual change. This is perfect. Yeah, but it's still gotta look professional. Yeah, but those ads are really particular about where they shoot. There's, you know, chaos, but like in a manageable kind of way. We would have to light it a lot and dress it up even more. Well, she, um, her, she's pushing for better treatment of the elderly, for the impoverished, um, and tax reform. Do you know what music you're doing? No, uh, probably something from online. Uh, she, one of her main platforms is education reform and towards less standardized testing. Uh, we can shoot outside on the street stuff. Are you crazy? Sorry, just it's so busy out there. That's a good point. No, that's very true. Uh, we could do like a simple black backdrop. Do you think that would look good? Or, you know, just any out-of-focus background. What about a blue background? Like, some type of nice material or gradient? Something simple and nice to look at for the background. Yeah, that would, that would look nice. Great. Can, um, can you go with someone to go pick that up? Oh, no. Great, thank you.
you're ready. Go ahead. Hi, corporations are real dumb. They make real dumb decisions for our culture and our environmental longevity. They think they're the smart masters of our economy and our everyday lives, but they're real dumb. And what are we doing to stop them, change them, transition from our reliance on them as the major centers of power in this pathetic bound country? Hi, vote for me, I'll do it. <laughs> Is that what she's gonna say? Oh, no, I don't. I don't know what she's going to say. <laughs> uh, is the lighting good? Too good. You called there. Okay. Joe, Joe, I brought Charlie. Can you put the sheet back up? Hey, can you talk some more? I should get some levels, actually. Oh yeah. Um, corporations are real dumb. Vote for me. <laughs> good. I think that echoes my. Look, uh, I gotta go now, but I'll be back later.